Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm in Vegas right now at one of the biggest skate parks here. I think it's like 60,000 square feet. It's absolutely massive. But before we get into that, before we get a session going, I'm gonna talk a bit about the skateboards that I've been riding and uh, my current setup. So for the last two and a half weeks, I've been on this skateboard here. It's an eight and a half uh, drain skateboards. So that's a recent sponsor of mine. Um, if you've been keeping up to date with me on Instagram and following along this channel, I haven't really talked about it too much, but I basically I got my first sponsorship and I'm stoked. It's just, I'm kind of lost for words with it. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible that at 31 years old, getting my first board sponsorship, uh, I'm stoked. Um, I'll probably make a later video about uh, drain skateboards and kind of the premise behind it, what it's all about, and um, the man behind the vision of that company as well. Um, that's kind of a future video to come. I don't really want to get too much into it right now, but I'll talk a bit about the skateboard and how it's been. So uh, I set this up about two and a half weeks ago, which is um, pretty good. I mean, it's got like quite a bit of wear on the nose. I do a lot of nose slides and the tail barely has any marks. Decent razor tail. I did crack it yesterday skating this big hip. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this board has held up really well for skating. I've been skating literally every single day here in the States for like two and a half weeks now. Um, but it's time to set up a new one. Um, oh yeah, you can see the cracker right here. Maybe not actually, I don't know if you can see it. It's around there. Um, yeah, I'm also on Indie Hollow Standards. So those are the ones with the hollow kingpin and axle with the standard base plate. They're 149s and I'm on 53 millimeter conical fulls uh, Spitfires, the Fabiana Delfino model. And I'm on Bronson uh, bearings. I forget which ones to be honest. And independent hardware. I always like to have Phillips and I like the gold. Uh, on the top, it helps me kind of figure out where my nose and tail are, um, and it's a bit of like a guiding thing. I also like the way it looks. Yeah, enough about my setup. Let's um, take this thing apart and put on this new board. I'm stoked, guys. Check this out. Such a cool graphic. Ooh. I love the orange top with. Uh, Oh, this blue and kind of gold bottom. I think it looks cool. Right now I'm on mob grip tape. Uh, not really by choice, just by default, because that's kind of what I've been getting hooked up with. Um, but I really gotta say, I really don't like mob. I find it too grippy. It takes me like a week or so to like break it in and feel, I don't know, I just prefer, I guess, broken in grip tape, but uh, that's it. Mob grip, okay, getting used to it. It does mess up my thumb, I find. I have like so much more callus that builds up over time, but it is what it is. But yeah, let's set this thing up. Got my silver tool with me. We've been skating like literally every day. And I'm actually really surprised how well my body's holding up. Been making sure to like drink enough water, eat enough food, stretch every day, morning and night. Uh, but yeah, no we're real injuries I'm dealing with, which is great. Just always kind of sore. It's getting a lot every day. It's starting to get warm here. It's weird. It's been like super warm on this trip, especially Arizona. California is a little cooler. It's still warm. I mean, in comparison to what Vancouver is getting right now. Um, Shout out to all the homies in Vancouver getting it in the undergrounds. Hell yeah. I'd be doing the same if I was out there still. Uh, but yeah, Vegas has been like kind of cooler. But today, the sun is shining and makes a world of difference. I was watching a uh, Dan Corrigan video this morning on how to kickflip, like a master class on how to kickflip. Kind of little nuggets that he's learned along the way. And he was saying that he likes to. Um, Put his full foot on the board, similar to how to like Andrew Reynolds does it. His, his whole foot is on that board. I'm gonna give it a go today. Try that technique and see if it works for me. Probably need to like work in this grip first before I do that. But yeah, I've been trying to hone in on my kickflips and 
trying to get just get better at doing them. I really want to learn how to like do a really good kickflip. I feel like my kickflip is pretty good. It's getting there, um, but it's definitely not like 100% consistent like I would like it to be. I have like a, a few different variations of kickflips. It probably took me a good week to get used to the setup. I went from an 838 on 144s and 52 millimeter classics um, to this big boy setup. So it's been an it's been an adjustment, but I'm actually quite enjoying it. And these conical folds, I'm starting to get used to them. They definitely feel different, especially for flip tricks. But it's been nice having that extra stability, having that wider board. I am 5'11 and I have a size 11 foot, so. Having that extra board has kind of been nice. It did take a minute to get used to, but I'm starting to like it. It's warm, right? It's way warmer. Damn. That's sun. Austin Shannon just warming up just behind me here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little envious. Can't wait to get on the board. Especially a new board. It's always like, exciting to set up a new board and get on it. Comment below whether you like skating a used board or like a brand new board. Personally, I love, I think it's exciting. I love the feeling of like a poppy new board, but I prefer used in grip tape, if that makes sense. I kind of actually like like a broken in board, especially like a week and a half old. Because at that point, you're really starting to like feel the board. You understand the perfect like foot positioning for your tricks. You're just a lot more comfortable on the board. So it's like easier to do the tricks you want to do. Oh yeah. This was it. I really like this one actually. It was a really nice cool color. This might go on the wall. I think I'm gonna save my first like few drain boards uh, just because it kind of has like a memory. Oh yeah, of course. No stress, man. Nope. All good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep them like kind of as like sentimental thing. It's cool to like look back on and um, I mean, especially with this one, coming to the States and going on a skate trip for the first time um, will be cool to like have that on the wall to look back on. These videos too. These videos would be cool to look back on. I'm just rambling here. Let's get back to this board setup. I'm happy I gripped this before I left. I gripped it actually back home in Vancouver because I knew that if I broke a board on a session or if I just wanted to set up a new board, it would have been nice to have a, a grip board already. The last step, the last truck. Also, comment below if you tighten your trucks in like a diagonal pattern. So like I start here, I like tighten that 70% and then I move down to the furthest one on the bottom here. Tighten that one 70% and then back up to the top and kind of re repeat that process till they're all tight. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I feel like I feel like it must align it and make it like straight. I think about I think about it like a kind of installing a car tire or car wheel. If you ever done that before, kind of do it in a pattern that is opposite from each other to just make sure that it's tight and straight all the way around. Let me know. Comment below if you do that too. Well, that's that. That's the board setup, guys. Looks good, eh? excited to skate it. Well, that's it guys. That's my board setup. If you're interested in seeing me skate on it and just seeing me skate on the other drain boards as well and kind of following along on our trip here in the States, I'll link uh, video links below to our trip so far. So if you want to follow along and check out our trip skating in Arizona, California, and Vegas, go check it out. All right guys, take it easy and we'll see you on another video. Peace. It's got a pretty mellow concave, pretty mellow nose and tail. There's the nose here. It's nice, it's a nice shape. It's just like a nice generic shape. Same with the tail. I've been liking kind of mellow concave with a decent nose and tail these days. I'm not a huge fan of steep concave, but yeah, this is uh, this is the setup.